So we'll start with very important topic on VOR. We have already seen EDF automatic direction finder which gives us relative bearing. Bearing which are measured with respect to aircraft heading. And we had a lot of fun on the relative bearing. Okay, let's see. Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from flight deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. Our next radio equipment is VOR. Anybody knows the full form of VOR? Yes, Balmurgan. Okay. Yeah, so hum. Omnidirectional range. Okay, anybody else? Nobody. It is very high frequency, like you said, omnidirectional radio range. It is one of the, my favorite navigation aid because it works on the very simple principle of radio wave, which we will see. It was invented in the United States of A in 1937. And it was actually, it came to in operation somewhere in 1946. After that, it has gone through various changes, but more or less, it has remained same. Now, a lot of people tend to confuse or they miss out on this word, radio range. Like you said, what is this radio and also this about range. Actually, when this thing was invented in, um, like I said, in 1930. 7. That time it was referred as visual oral radio range. That was the name of this. You must not have heard about it. Like when we were studying ADF, we said automatic direction finder. No, it was not automatic direction finder. When it was invented, it was loop scale equipment and it was not RBI what we studied. It is loop scale reading. That's how this equipment was. Similarly, when this equipment was invented, or rather they started working on it, it was visual oral radio range. Now, in the present form, what we see is VHF omnidirectional radio range. And this equipment is slowly being phased out also. In US, it is almost 50% of VOR they have removed because now we have something called performance based navigation system or other space based navigation system or satellite based navigation system something like gps and more and more eventually but yes in india they are still in use and they will be continued use because this is and nothing like when is invented and by the time it gradually it has been various changes have been made nothing great has been changed in this now, what this VOR is, how it looks like, let's see first that. And then we will study about it. Like, hota kya pehle. So, a simple VOR looks like this. This gives you a generic idea what kind of size a person is standing, how this is. On ground VOR equipment is person around 5 feet some inches so you can see roughly about 10 feet and similarly this platform this is to give you a general idea how VOR looks like this we will see how it's from inside in the cockpit we have this indicator and you have a tuning panel like any other radio you can tune this panel in the cockpit also you can see this normal radio where you select you have uh, nav 1, nav 2, com 1, com, com 2, communication, navigation. So you can select the frequency here. And indicator is here, VOR. So that's what is VOR. Let's discuss about it now. 
the ground transmitter transmits 360 magnetic radial or simply radial earlier we saw adf adf was in the aircraft we had something loop antenna sense antenna directional properties and we were using to find where the transmitter is with respect to heading of aircraft now this gives 360 magnetic radial now what is this radial radial is like radiating so the radial is magnetic track from the station from the station so the ground transmitter itself is transmitting directional signal that is the difference ndb is non directional beacon like we heard if you are tuning to the radio station all india radio it is no directional properties so that was it was non directional beacon because the transmitter which is transmitting it has got non directional signal which has got no signal in the aircraft you are using a loop antenna and sense antenna to find where the station is whereas here the ground transmitter itself is transmitting the radials 360 magnetic radial from the radial easy way to remember is radiating anything which is so like relative bearing you measure from the aircraft the radials are from the station we will come back to this again and we will do a lot of questions on this radial earlier we played with heading relative bearing now we will add radial also into it it gives bearing or direction by phase comparison if you remember we studied what is the phase angular position of a wave at a given time and then we studied phase difference the angular difference between two waves of same frequency very interesting so the transmitter has to transmit two signals of same frequency as we progress further you will find it's a wonderful navigation aid by using simple principle of radio wave in 1936 that's the 37 correction so bearing by phase comparison frequency is uses 108 to 117.95 but roughly we take it as 118 megahertz it is actually 117.95 but just for easy remembrance is 108 to 118 megahertz so which band it is thinking it's can name a vhf you don't need to think which band it is bor so which band it is genius, v oh, genius. this 108 to 118 megahertz it it share with ILS localizer which we are going to study next ILS instrument landing system so it is this frequency from 108 to 112 actually it is not 112 it is 111.95 so from 108 to 112 it shares with it shares with ILS localizer the best way to remember how it shares is Lave. Now, what is this Lave is L is for localizer and V is for V or everybody is teaching the same thing. But obviously, somebody started with this. So, easy way to remember is now what is this? O stands for odd and E starts for even all first places after decimal if they are odd they are for localizer all even first place after decimal is for VOR best way to remember odd for localizer even is for VOR so odd is for localizer for example 108.1 110.3 one, 111.1 one, 109.9 one, can you see this after decimal first place if it is odd it is for so the equipment is designed in such a manner 
if you set in that this frequency it is for localized or basically for ILS which you, know, which you will study next and all for VOR is all even first place of the decimal for example 110.6 109.8 so all this even is for VOR again coming back to this best way remember is in your mind is first place after decimal if it is odd it is for localizer if it is even for that is from 108 to 112 now from 112 to 118 like I said 117.95 so from 10112 from 112 to 118 whether it is odd or even everything is for VOR so whether it is odd or even anything more than 112 is for VOR clear on this okay now let's see how it works like I said I like this equipment because and admire the person who invented this because of very simple principle of phase difference angular difference of two waves of same frequency at a given time gives you the position so to for this equipment to transmit you need transmitter which is transmitting at two or rather transmitting two signal of same frequency so earlier it used to be a mechanical kind of thing when you look at the equipment from outside it looks like a dome from inside there is another antenna earlier it was mechanical things have over a period of time it is improved mechanical means physically it was rotating just to protect that that is placed inside this so remember two signals of same frequency so one antenna is fixed and one is rotating inside now how it works there is a one the outer one which you saw transmitter it transmits a omnidirectional signal or omnidirectional antenna means it is transmitting at in all the direction so the polar diagram will be circle or wherever you are the signal will be received in same phase 10 mile 20 mile 30 nautical mile or whatever it is wherever you are from the transmitter you draw any circle 10 mile 20 mile 5 mile whatever it is it will be received in same phase all around because it is an omnidirectional antenna now this is transmitted this omnidirectional antenna is called a fixed aerial and it transmits a 30 hertz signal so the information is 30 hertz the frequency which you saw from 108 to 118 is a carrier, carrier frequency remember modulation when you study you have information and you have carrier frequency so the information is of 30 hertz like when you hear a radio on 93.5 the song can be played on any frequency same song will the information is that song not that 93.5 or not 108.4 104.8 or something 104.8 or 93.5 is a carrier frequency we studied in modulation so the information which you are sending is 30 hertz signal which is frequency modulated on those frequency of 108.2 118 megahertz so again lot of confusion amongst people the information is of 30 hertz whatever you tune is your carrier frequency 93.5 what you are tuning and your radio is a carrier frequency information is song whatever that is playing and we studied in detail when we did modulation so this signal is received in same phase all around the station wherever it is you are receiving so this signal will be received anywhere you are receiving in the same phase whatever phases this is just to indicate all around the phase will be same 360 degree this becomes your one signal of 30 hertz now you need another signal of 
30 hertz again and now you have to get the phase difference also. You have to create phase difference between these two signals. So, this is done by in very intelligently another signal is transmitted and this signal is of same 30 hertz. So, that does not change two signal of same frequency for the phase difference. This is done by a this is called variable signal and it is done by that antenna which is rotating and this by this rotating aerial or antenna by and this 30 hertz is amplitude modulated. Easy way to remember is fixed is frequency modulated f f and variable signal is amplitude, but both are of 30 hertz. Now, this is transmitted by an antenna or aerial which is rotating at 30 cycles per second and both are one over the other. Now, how this phase difference is created? This transmitter you switch on transmitting anywhere whatever distance you draw it will be received in same phase. This is by rotating antenna and this rotation rate is 30. What is the frequency? Genius the person who invented this. Now, how it works let us see. What is the frequency? Information, information frequency is this is your information signal which you are sending 30 cycles per second means in one second 30 cycles of waves. So, let us see your signal is 30 cycles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so on. So, in one second timeline if you see how many you have transmitted. So, if you see one cycle is 1 by 30th of second you get it? You want to keep it simple in one second you have sent 30 waves 1, 2, 3 in one second that is the information. Antenna is rotating at what? This is your variable signal. Antenna rotation is what? 30 rotations per second something is matching that in one second you said 30 waves full cycle and antenna is rotated 30 times. So, if I do in the time marking one rotation, two rotation, three rotation, four, five, six, thirty rotation anything which you can comprehend from this. In one when the whole wave is transmitted during that the antenna rotates one time. One time in one second antenna is rotated 30 time yes and you have sent 30 signal ok. Simplify even more for you. You are transmitting one wave and antenna completes one revolution that much you understand. Now, this is very interesting thing to create a phase difference. Let us say I start rotation from the north. Okay. When my antenna is rotating at north, it is here. What is the phase of wave? 0. Because in one rotation, the wave will complete 360 degree. When my antenna is pointing in this direction, the phase is 0. As I go 90 degree, what has happened to the wave? 90 degree. Now, this signal will be received in different phase around the station not understood. I uh, say very simple thing here you make one rotation of the antenna and one wave is completed. So, both are uh, synchronized at magnet north wherever the magnetic north is when I this antenna starts rotating the wave starts from 0 
by the time antenna rotates 45 degree both are matching can you see one wave one rotation so by the time it goes 45 degree uh, 90 degree this will rotate 90 degree when it is got 180 degree it will rotate 180 degree when it goes 270 both are matching a very intelligent use of radio wave and a rotating antenna to find the or to create the phase difference again when i'm here at the north phase of the wave is zero you rotated through 45 degree the wave is reached 45 degree you reached 90 degree antenna the phase of the wave is 90 degree 180 degree 270 by the time you come back one wave is completed now similarly that's how this continued so this reference signal because this is your reference you need two one is changing phase and you need a reference that's why this two signal because this is the signal which is you are receiving in same phase all around this is referred as reference and the name is given is reference signal this is variable signal so this is reference is a fixed antenna which is received in all in all the direction in same phase whereas this is received depending upon the position of antenna because when antenna is at 0 degree north the phase of this wave is 0 when the antenna goes 45 degree how much the phase phase is change 45 degree when antenna is 90 degree the phase is reached 90 degree here it is reached 135 here it is reached 180 here it is reached reached 225 here it is 270 here it is now both are being transmitted from the same location a craft wherever you are when you tune the frequency 108 or whatever the frequency is given now this signal will be received in this signal will be received at the same point whatever this distance is and this is the same distance you are receiving both this will be received in different phase if you only make this it will not give you so that's why you need one reference so that's why this is a reference and you compare both wherever the aircraft is you will receive both signal let's say if you are here the difference between both the signal will be 90 degree if you are at 45 degree the phase difference would be 45 degree don't need to be confused it is very simple logic wave starts from zero completes 360 degree wave is the disturbance so you are is could don't make it complicated even in your mind also it is very simple it is rotating antenna is to create the phase difference wave could disturbance when you throw a stone it moves and it is got a phase angular position both are matched when the antenna is 90 degree wave is 0 degree when antenna reaches 90 degree wave reaches 90 degree when antenna reaches 180 degree the wave reaches 180 degree so at anywhere when you are receiving the signal there will be phase difference between both the signals and what and both the signals are aligned at magnetic north wherever the magnetic north is both the signals are in same phase wherever you are there is a phase, there is a phase difference you will receive whatever your phase difference that is your position if you are receiving a phase difference of 033 you are on the bearing of 033 magnetic bearing from the station if you are receiving phase difference of 180 degree you are here it's a very simple equipment which works at the aircraft what do we receive we receive this phase difference and then you get indication according to that which we will see clear on this how it works it's very logical the ground transmitter is transmitting two signal one is reference one is variable reference signal is transmitted through uh, omnidirectional antenna which is received in same phase at a given point around the station so depending upon the position of aircraft you receive the difference phase difference between both these signal whatever the phase difference is that is your position and then you have a indicator which we will study how that indicator works rest is all theory what is a polar diagram and blah 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 but like it's a very intelligent use one signal is reference which is receiving 30 hertz 
everywhere same. If I draw a circle 10 mile, 20 mile, 30 mile, it's an omnidirectional antenna that will be received in same phase. At the same point, both, let's say this yellow circle of the same distance, you will receive this signal also. This signal is depending upon what is the antenna position, what is the angle. Whatever that angle is, that is your phase difference. Whatever the phase difference, that is your bearing from the station. You are receiving phase difference 270. Means what? You are on the bearing of 270. You are receiving phase difference of 180. So having seen the working of uh, VOR, ground transmitter, reference signal and variable signal, let's see what is the polar diagram. Now the polar diagram, variable signal, omnidirectional signal, it is always a circle. So for fixed signal, the polar diagram is a circle because this is received in same phase and polar diagram for variable signal because the antenna is rotating, one side is more, one side is less. So the polar diagram for variable signal is rotating figure of 8 and this whole thing is rotating in a, because the signal is rotated clockwise, that is why it is rotating clockwise, rotating means one side is signal is more, one side is less, not really important to know as long as you know. Remember we saw loop antenna, sense antenna which was, there is a difference. When we studied polar diagram of NDB and ADF, that polar diagram was for ADF. Loop antenna and sense antenna was in the aircraft, correct? That was for the receiver, whereas this polar diagram is for transmitter, a major difference people are not aware of, now they pay, pay attention to this. The difference that is, a, remember when we studied a polar diagram can be drawn for a transmitter or a receiver. So, cardioid was for the receiver, whereas limacon is for the transmitter. So, combined again, how it is done, not really a problem. Both signals when the ground station is transmitting, you have reference signal, you have variable signal. This is for reference signal, which is a circle. And for variable signal is rotating figure of 8. The combine is, this resembles that what? No, remember apple, half cut apple. So this is a circle, something is like, and this whole thing is rotating. There is a difference. That was more of cardiac shape. This is more of a circle, but one side signal increases, one side decreases, not really a problem. This shape, this white shape is actually your Lemacan shape and which is rotating in, anti in a clockwise manner. Clear on this thing to remember, cardioid was for the re receiver for loop antenna and sense antenna, whereas Lemacon is for the transmitter for variable signal and reference signal. Clear on this? So with this we have seen the working of VOR. In the next class, we will see the indicator, how the various component or elements, what we use in the cockpit, how it gives us important information of our magnetic bearing. We'll take a break and after the break we will see how this various three elements of indicator work together. Till then stay tuned, see you after the break. This is your captain Surinder speaking.